This actually has your name on it. No, that has my name on it. This one holds more coffee. But my name is Rachel Smoky Mountains Salfer. But I don't have the coffee issue that you have, so I feel like you should cut back. So I'm going to get the bigger cup of coffee. Really? Hand over the coffee and nobody gets hurt. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I was going to ask you for that piece of bread why what's wrong with your piece of bread i mean there's nothing but it's the end and i don't, I don't like, like the ends either but i thought you like the ends of things just not meat. bread just i've meat. never liked the end of bread did you guys used to eat the end of the loaf of bread that was the thing that everybody would just keep leaving to the bottom i will split this with you because see here's the thing oh, ha like half i'm half. having runny eggs so i need a little bit thicker piece the bread to soak up we're gonna make more bread today Welcome to day two of the road back. The road back to anything other than... Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Right. Except it's... for there's a problem. What? We're doing beef, butter, bacon, and eggs today. <laughs> but we're trying to see if we have any type of reaction to the chicken. So let's talk about chicken. I was shot. We did eat late. Yeah. So we probably under ate our macros yesterday, mm -hmm. um, but we're not really counting macros right now. So, you know, I'm not that concerned about that so long as it's not an everyday deal. You know, if you continually under eat every day, you could slow down your metabolism, which is something that we have done in the past. We have. So we, we like to be careful about not under eating a lot. But we ate late because you had church and I was working on videos and, you know, I'm trying to actually be a responsible adult business owner and I have been going through all of the receipts for both of our businesses Aww. since January I'm very because proud. not one of them have been uploaded. Fortunately for me. <laughs> 95% of our purchases for Two Crazy Ketos, um, they're like Amazon or mm. B&H Photo. So that is like, there's a record. So there's a record somewhere. <laughs> but like the website, when you, I, you don't even pay attention to it. So like the website has all these like plugins and you have to pay the hosting fees and you have to pay for your domain name. And they just automatically renew out of our PayPal. Right. When you start adding it up, that website costs a lot of money to run. I know. And it needs to get fixed. It's like, it's it costs a lot of money to oh, be I mean, the quotes that I'm getting looking. are several thousand dollars to just to, you know, one person insulted me and like, your website is so outdated, it needs a complete rebuild. It looks ugly. I'm like, thanks for insulting my work. We're coming I to did you. that myself. It was like, the best we could do. Hey, it was like learn as you go kind of thing. But yeah, so I'm trying to be the responsible adult of actually going through my entire Amazon purchases since January, which there's a lot of them. Um, and be it any place I can think of that I've bought something for Two Crazy Ketos and trying to snapshot the receipts, and then I finally switched over to QuickBooks Online. We were using regular regular QuickBooks for the landscaping business, but the QuickBooks Online gives you the receipt snap. Next up Which helps. is doing it for the landscaping. Now that's another problem. That one means going through bank statements and finding every gas purchase that oh, I use man. for landscaping and finding the receipts for supplies. Usually what I end up doing, and that's why I'm trying to be the better responsible adult and that's why I switched to QuickBooks is because QuickBooks Online offers you that little 
snap a picture like Expensify, but I never liked Expensify for it. Um, I make purchases at like the place that repairs our lawnmowers. Right. Usually what I have to do is at the end of the year, go over to them and be like, hey. can you give me a printout of everything I've spent for the entire year? I don't because think... I'm, I'm just, I'm great at coming up with ideas. I've got a lot of vision with that. I'm really good at figuring out things. But organizationally, I'm horrible. I'm, I'm absolutely horrible with that. I don't think that you're alone. And I certainly don't think that, um, like, the landscaping guys are... I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're. It's they're used to it at oh, this point. Oh, man, my yolk's not runny. Mmm. I think I let it sit too long. It's like, gooey. Yeah, but I want... It. This, this is actually a good way for you to eat it. Like, so it's not runny, but what? We have a premiere at 9.45. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I, uh, I need to take some stuff to the post office. Um, you're going to work on the front room and I need to get my hair cut really badly because yeah. it just looks like a mop at this point. So back to the chicken. Yeah. We were so busy during the day that we didn't eat until seven o'clock at night. And then I was full after just 11 wings. I was full after 14 wings, which is huge. Mm -hmm. But I think this BBB and E challenge has really helped me to have peace. Because I know when I'm full, I felt full, I'm like, I'm good. There's more if I want it. Don't panic. This is not your last meal. And I was able to go to bed at peace. And that was the whole thing that I ordered 30 wings for each of us, knowing that I think that this is going to be more than we need. But you want to know that the food is available. So we always take them home and then reheat them in the air fryer to get them a little bit crispier but not overcooked yeah so i said we're gonna have 15 a piece and then at the end of 15 if we are still hungry then i will put them a few more back in the air fryer and we actually only had 14 because of the way they divvied up the boxes and it worked out perfectly because I did, this way we didn't have to keep reheating the other ones over and over and over and over again yeah and in the end um, the scale for me, as of this morning, I did get on the scale and I am actually down from yesterday. Now, what is that number? You guys will find out in a little while, but Same I was here. down and, uh, as of right now, I don't have any inflammation. And same here. I, I am down a pound from what I weighed yesterday, which I won't say what that is until later. Um, but yeah, and I feel great. So yay chicken. What is this pile of boxes? That is Joe trying to be more organized and more professional. So in my effort to be a more responsible adult, wow, I a lofty am goal. building a NAS system. And I know you don't know what that means. It's a complete backup system because in editing a lot of these vlogs, I'm missing a lot of raw footage videos because I ran out of hard drive space on my computer. I would run out of hard drive space on my memory cards. And then we ran out of iCloud space. We were actually in Las Vegas and we ran out of iCloud space and had to start deleting old videos, like, and from the deleted folder. Worst possible moment. And I deleted videos that I needed. So in an effort to fix that, I am creating a 14, 16 terabyte, 16, yes, yeah, 16 terabyte hard drive that's gonna back everything up with two terabytes of M.2. I know you don't know what this means, but all of the geeks and nerds out there will appreciate nerd, this. Nerd, nerd. With two terabytes of M.2 NVMe cache on it, and then that whole system is going to back up to the cloud. So that means that we'll have it on my computer and it will back up every single computer I own and you own. It'll back up my computer, it'll back up your computer, then we have a backup within my computer, then a backup to here, and then a backup in the cloud that I can access from everywhere. So hopefully- We doing our best. With four copies of every single file until I'm done editing and then keeping all of the raw footage from everything, I won't lose videos. I'm so excited. I made it to my appointment with three minutes to spare. Yay, Rachel. I'm here at Polished Salon in Coral Springs and my hairstylist, Trish, is gonna hook me up with a better 
hairstyle than the current mop situation that I have. So let's go get our hair did and I'll come back and show you the results. Rachel is gonna freak when she comes home and sees all of the sheetrock dust that is everywhere. But we did the best we could to protect everything. Uh, we put tarps over all of the camera gear. We did put tarps over the shelves in the back, but one of them fell down, so that kind of stinks. It means everything's gotta come off and get dusted. That chair, I had no place to put it because it didn't fit through the doorway. And then we did hang a tarp back there in the doorway. Now, what we're doing over here is actually widening the doorway. So you can see the old doorway in there. It was like four inches shorter. Problem was we couldn't fit any furniture through there ever. So we always had to go through the back. So we're gonna widen it to a 34 inch opening. And then we're putting in a barn door That'll help shut off all of the noise. So Anthony had to go get some more joint compound because the stuff we had started drying out and it was very difficult to apply. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna start like mopping up so the dust isn't super bad. Okay, so this is it, the new do. I'm actually really happy with it. It's super bouncy. That was what was happening was I was just dragging down with dead ends and not helping anything. So I like the fact that it's all bouncy now. Um, it's funny though, every single time I get a haircut, I'm losing more and more of what was dark, old, dyed hair, and what's coming in is me, which is gray and white and silver, and I mean, really just a bunch of different colors. So I'm enjoying the new hair that, that I'm growing instead of just dyeing it. Your hair? looks amazing thank you i'm kind of excited it's it's back to being bouncy that's what i wanted right. just like healthy bouncy now you didn't color it what did you do no i just i i had a shampoo where they helped to like take out the buildup right from product okay because even if you're not trying to use a bunch of shampoo and conditioner and I mean just stuff builds up in your hair especially for someone who has gray or silver hair well it looks amazing when are you gonna do your nails though probably the end of this week or next week okay oh you have a little bit of brisket on your I, face I'm I'm, I'm still like kind of I changed my shirt but <sighs> I'm still covered in sheetrock dust and sorry about the floor oh that's fine I'm more stressed out about the fact that it's seven o'clock and in 30 minutes, people are going to see us in our underwear. See you in your underwear. You, you look at, you're wearing a sports bra. You're wearing like a pair of shorts. I'm in my underwear. What is wrong with us? A lot. Who shows themselves in their underwears? I don't know. I don't know what's worse. The Sorry, fact that Grandma. I'm in my underwear or the fact that you see all of my fat in all of its glory. I feel like we should have definitely gone with like a solid colored underwear for you. Instead, it looks like <laughs> we're going like wild cheetah time underwear. <laughs> So, yes, the results are in. If you haven't seen that video, I will put a link for it right over Rachel's head. We go over the before and after pictures, our measurements, what the scale said. We still have our labs to go over. So the lab results are actually in. They just came in about an hour ago. But I don't really want to go over them yet because I don't understand all of the numbers there's just certain things that I, you know, don't understand when it comes to like particle size and particle count and that kind of stuff. So I want to talk to Dr. Barry and uh, also Dave Feldman about it. And then we'll kind of get into the labs. Some of the numbers are really shocking, like shocking that an average doctor is going to say you should have died five days ago. Are you already dead? But then there's other numbers that were like, Amazing. wow. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you've hit that bell button so that you can be notified when we do upload that video. First of all, you may want to be unsubscribed by that time after you see us in our underwear. We'd like to publicly apologize to our parents and family. And our children. Sorry. And everybody else. So we can say moist as much as we want if we'll stop putting underwear pictures up. <laughs> We're gonna eat some dinner. Here's what we got. We have all the brisket from the other day. Yeah. Whatever was left, uh, I'd say we probably each have about three quarters of a pound. And then two of those beef sausages from Costco. As far as chick, as, as from Sam's Club. As far as the chicken, I still am not having any effects. I don't feel 
any kind of inflammation or no. anything like that. We're going to wait until tomorrow. That's why we're eating beef, butter, bacon, and eggs today. Now, in the past, I have gotten inflammation from eating buffalo wild wings. So it's possible it's that that sauce. was from the sauces because we would usually get mild or medium and they do take Frank's Red Hot and then mix it with like a canola oil or something like Could that. Could also be the dressing if we get any of the blue the cheese. The blue cheese dressing, dressing and that kind of stuff. So moving forward, I'm not going to say I'm never going to go out to Buffalo Wild Wings and get dressings and sauces on them. We probably I like would. What you did though. But and that's if we're on the road, we would yeah. probably get the seasoning and, and get like a sauce. But if we're just going to get them and bring them home, I think moving forward, because I don't have any inflammation today, I would probably just get them completely naked bring them home, and then like crisp them up and put our own butter mix with Frank's Red Hot and stuff on it. When you say naked, it just makes me think, it's coming. We're about, <laughs> we're about to be almost naked. We're gonna be, well, we just were in those pictures. <sighs> well, by now, everyone has seen us in our underwears. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. And then when we were watching the the premiere, yeah. I'm like, okay, good. My mom is out of town. There's no chance that she's going to see this. I see her little name pop up and I'm like, oh, dang it. <laughs> she made it. Oh, sorry, mommy. And then I realized that my mom will see them. Yeah. Because my sister watches our videos. I know she watches our videos because she comments on our videos. We're all so the time. sorry, mom. Oh my gosh. I just realized something. Yeah. Michelle watches our videos. We're sh we're shaming generationally. Right. <laughs> That's what we're doing. The whole family tree. My daughter just saw me in her, my underwear. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm sorry. But we have to show pictures. Yeah. You can't just have numbers and not see any other dimension to it, I don't think. It's important. And even for me, like the reason we wore underwear, and I didn't porky pig it at least. Thank you. <laughs> um, was because they're tight. So you're going to see the effect of the rolls. I could wear a pair of loose basketball shorts, but you're not going to see all of the rolls. I have a lot of loose skin at this point. There is some little bits of fat that is stuck in that skin, but there's loose skin there. Now for me personally, I don't mind the loose skin over being fat and I really don't have a desire to get any kind of skin surgery or anything like that because I'm a wuss when it comes to pain. And I don't want to deal with that long recovery or the scar or anything. But I know some people, they want that. But I wanted you to see like, hey, I have up some rolls there and the underwear are going to clearly show it. But in the second picture, in the after picture, you can see it is slimming down. And I think we're going to continue to have more results as this month goes on as well. Yeah. Even if we're not just doing beef, butter, bacon, eggs, because... We've changed our mindset towards eating. And for the last 44 days, I think we've been eating more within our macros than we were before. So our body is healing as far as like what our metabolism is and, you know, how much we can and should be eating. Now we're going to start shifting more to a one to one thing, not necessarily tracking, but kind of having an idea of, okay, I've eaten, you know, 185 grams of protein and I want to keep my fat underneath that 185 grams. Yeah, I think that it's good to get in the ballpark because right. we weren't even, I mean, we weren't thinking about anything at all. Right. So I'm excited to see if we put just a little bit of effort into macros, which is just trying to do a one-to-one. -one. I feel yeah. like that's still not overwhelming. I'm not going to get upset or depressed about that. But moving forward, I think we'll have really good success because we're going to continue to to eat good food. Yeah. Now, we did get our labs, as I said. Um, I've started going over some of the numbers. Some of the numbers can be disturbing. Some of them are pretty good, but we're going to talk to Dave Feldman about them. And uh, I've messaged Dr. Barry with him, see what he thinks on them. Like some of the things like, you know, he asked me to get a C-peptide and a C-reactive uh, protein. So I'm curious what he thinks of those numbers. And it, it's going to be interesting to talk about that. Overall, I think it was a huge success. I do want to say, um, I'm sorry, in the video, so I do color editing and the pictures were already embedded from when we recorded it. And I didn't notice that it kind of screwed up the color it on the picture. It bleached it out so a little. It, 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 it put more highlights in there. So 
after people have had a couple days to see that you know video, we will post it up on Facebook of here's our before, here's our after, but right. we want to wait until people have had a chance to watch that video. It really makes all of the skin flaps and crevices really stand out. So <laughs> I really appreciate it. Now, all joking aside, I'm very thankful for these moments of vulnerability. They're not easy. Right. But you know what? When people share their story with us, they're being vulnerable. Right. They're saying like, hey, you know, I've made mistakes in the past. Maybe my body shows record of that. My body shows record of my past. Yes. It doesn't determine my future as far as my past gets to forever say how I'm going to live the rest of my life. But I have battle scars mm -hmm. from, from the battle I fought with myself. And so I'm not going to be embarrassed of them and I'm going to be willing to be vulnerable with them and trust that this keto community is as nurturing as I believe it is. Yeah. And it was important to do it because, you know, we could just say, hey, here's our results from the scale or here's our measurements. But number one, there's no proof. Right. But number two, if we just told you the scale number, I think a lot of people, including you, would be like, why did I just do this? Why did I only eat beef, butter, bacon, and eggs for 44 days and then... I only, I actually gained 0.2 pounds. Yeah. So when you compare that to the pictures, as we said, as the dogs are running around making a whole bunch of noise back right. there, um, it's really important to look at the pictures and look at measurements, and that's 10 times more important than the scale. So what's the plan for tomorrow? So the plan for tomorrow, for the road back, <laughs> is uh, a normal beef, butter, bacon, and eggs day but also a keto chow. All right, and we're gonna use butter, right? We're gonna use butter because we know, first of all, that keto chow doesn't have any kind of inflammation effect on us because we've been using keto chow for two years and at one point we did an entire month of keto chow. So yeah. I know it doesn't inflame me. What I know inflames me or at least causes problems with my stomach is heavy whipping cream. Yes. But again, this is all about introducing things and seeing how do we feel. Like we said, we both feel great with the wings. Now that you've actually revealed your weight on video, we can say Rachel dropped another pound this morning. Yeah, I was 156 today. So, you know, that goes pretty good for the wings. They, at least getting the wings naked and putting our own seasoning on them. So tomorrow we're gonna do beef, butter, bacon, or eggs during the day. And then at some point we're gonna have a keto chow, which will probably be uh, keto chow ice cream. I've got a few prepped back there. Pistachio. I had two open packages of pistachio. Well, not open, but loose in my office. So I figured we're going to go ahead and make those. We may do ice cream or we may do a shake out of the bag for Russian roulette over there. I like the Russian roulette idea. Or maybe we'll do one ice cream and split it and then do a roulette like and split a shake. I'm, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I am excited because then it feels like a, a game night. <laughs> <laughs> right? I like that. Yeah. Now, the reason we did butter is, again, because of the heavy whipping cream, but it's just, it's one variable. So if you're only adding in keto chow and not also adding in heavy whipping cream, you know, we know what is going on. If we were to make the keto chows with heavy whipping cream, then you, if you have some inflammation, you got to start going, was it the heavy whipping cream or was it the keto chow? So the best way to do this is do a keto chow tomorrow. Then Friday, go back to beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. The next time we do a keto chow or another time that we do a keto chow, do the keto chow with heavy whipping cream. And then you'll be able to know, okay, yes, it was the heavy whipping cream. You know what it was making me think about as you were talking was um, how Chris Bayer, the, the founder of Keto Chow, actually... Um, did a hundred days on keto chow and he used all kinds Every of, two weeks. of different oils and as he spoke at um, Keto Palooza, they had very different impacts on him. Yeah, one of the things that was really shocking was that MCT oil caused his triglycerides to go out of whack and like I certainly don't want high triglycerides. That is one of the things that you're looking at when you're looking at the possibility of heart disease. You want to keep those triglycerides as low as possible. I will give you a little hint. My triglycerides dropped significantly 
in 44 days of beef butter bacon egg and they were already low but they dropped significantly and that was fast yeah. I mean, when you think about somebody who needs to turn some things around quickly yeah quick fast and in a hurry when you're dealing with something like your triglycerides we, we don't want this to be a six month turnaround yep right so it was interesting to have that much forward momentum in such a short amount of time yep well that's going to be the end of today's video because it has been a long day we got back to working on the front room. We spackled it tomorrow. We got to finish sanding it. But of course, in the midst of it, I started taking apart my office because it's disgusting and it needs to be cleaned and organized. And multiple I'm also projects. Working on the NAS system back mm -hmm. there. So yeah, like like normal, Joe can't just do one thing. I know, but I'm right there with you, babe. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here whether you head this way or you head this way don't forget to head this way subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we're in our underwear you'll be alerted to it till tomorrow bye, bye.